Okay, I'm going to throw together another whatever you got. Flock block. Um, I've been out for a few days now, so I'm just going to throw together whatever I got left in the kitchen right now. So that's just a little bit of um, garlic powder. And then that's just some of their feed. And then I have some cat food. I don't measure. It's just whatever you want to put in there. And then some of their scratch, which I make my own scratch. I buy the regular scratch, and then I buy the bird feed that's got the, um, like, dried fruit, sunflower seeds, um, you know, different kind of um, peanut nuts and uh, just fruit and stuff in it. Uh, let's see here. And then I'm just going to add some parsley. I don't measure. Thyme. Dill. You can Google what's good for chickens. Chives. And then I also, um, as soon as I crack my egg, I just take hot water and rinse them out right away and leave them turned upside down to dry. And once they dry, I, I crush them up and put them in there. And then I just keep adding to this bowl. And then I'll dump this back in there when I put new ones in because the more weight you have in those grinders, the better they do. So I just, so I'm going to take some of this eggshells. Put some of that in there. I'm going to get this mixed up. Uh, before I add the rest, I've got my um, coconut oil melting on the stove, and my eggs are right here. So I'm going to mix this up real quick. Okay, I usually throw oats in there too, but I'm out. That's why I call this whatever you got, flock block. <laughs> so i got some oil here. Hopefully if it's enough, if not, I can always make more. And then I did put a little bit of my molasses in with my eggs try to get it in there. A little easier. So let me get that mixed up. Okay, so I don't know if you could tell from this, but just keep stirring and stirring if you're not sure about the oil. I always make a big batch because I make like a week's worth of blocks at a time. But um, you can start with a small batch. But as you're stirring, if you can't get everything in there wet, you know, you're still getting some dry spots from like the bottom or something. You know, just keep stirring it. You might need to add a little bit more oil. Because the oil and the egg is, you know, going to help hold it together. And then just kind of keep stirring that. Okay, I'm also out of some frozen vegetables. <laughs> I really need to go to the grocery store. Um, you know, so I would be putting that in there if I had canned tomatoes. I usually use the diced canned tomatoes and I drain it. Um, because, you know, water and oil is not going to... It's not going to hold together good, so you don't want a lot of moisture or water um, liquids in here. Um, now, in the summertime, it's going to be different because you want that coldness and that ice in there for them. Um, so I would not drain it as much in the um, summertime because instead of going in the fridge, these would go in the freezer in the summertime. <laughs> so um, you put mealworms. I mean, I'm just out of a lot of stuff. I <laughs> This is my week to go get caught up on everything so right now i'm out of a lot but believe me this will this will suffice it's whatever you got whatever you can pull out of your cabinets your garden you know and you can just guess on it you know if you're just gonna do a small batch a couple you know probably one egg would probably do good i mean i use three to four eggs on mine because i use the bigger bowl um and i just guess and like on the molasses um Probably a, a third cup, something like that. I you don't want to. I don't want to overdo it, you know. But the molasses is good for them, especially when it's you know cold. So, uh, you know. But anything like canned corn, any. I mean, whatever you got, <laughs> just throw it in there. This happens to be about what all I got right now until I make it to the store. So I'm gonna get these in the pans and get these in the fridge. Okay, that bowl there made me six blocks. So this is over a week's worth. Because I won't give this to them every day. Like, sometimes it's like every other day. Now, unless some people will bake theirs. But it seems like when you bake them, it gets really hard. I understand you want them to peck at it. But my chickens, they're just as good if you just put them in the fridge. 
Some people say they're afraid about the eggs and stuff. Well, you got it in the fridge. Um, just try to push down as hard as you can so that the oil and everything come together. And then what I usually do is take it out, you know, an hour before I give it to the chickens. And I like also it's not so hard or crispy and stuff uh, because it comes out of these pans real easy. I just take it out, open up the pan sides, you know, spread this out a little bit and just toss it because I want it to crumble up a little bit. You know, it'll it'll break in chunks and stuff because, you know, you get all your hens around one block. They're going to knock some of them out of the way. So <laughs> I take and, you know, make sure it splits and stuff in a few pieces so that they can all get to it at the same time. Uh, people ask me what my, the recipe is. And only thing I could tell them is, I don't know. I don't know what's in your kitchen. What is in your kitchen, your fridge, your pantry, your garden? What is it you have? You know, treats, dog food, cat food, whatever it is you have. Um, well, I've not used dog food in mine before. I've only used cat, cat food. But what is it that you have that you would, you know, give to your chickens that's okay to give to chickens? You know? Whatever that is, leftovers, whatever. It's just like I said, if you're going to put these in the fridge um, and it's, you know, when it's cold out and stuff, you want to limit the liquid. So if you, you're you going to give them some leftovers and it's got a bunch of, you know, liquid in it, broth, whatever, you want to dump that out um, or save it for later. If you want to do, when it gets summertime, it's okay to use that liquid in all this stuff instead of the oil. That way, so that's the only difference is in the summertime, I replace the oil with, um, you know, the liquids. And that helps it stick together. And then I put it in the freezer instead of the fridge. So there's a lot of things I left out of this, but, you know, I'm down to the basics. This is good enough. It's got their basics in there that they'll need, you know, to get by. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Put it in the fridge an hour before um, I give it to them, which I'll give them one of these this evening. And, uh, you know, just leave the rest in the fridge till I go through them.